back to Kim. Uh, are you still there, Kim? Yes, I'm yeah. here. You know, I was in insurance industry for 20 years. I don't know if you knew it or not. Yes, I remember you. Yeah. Yeah, so, and the the third time I got into insurance industry, which I had moved to Sedona, Arizona, and that was the third time, because I, I went into that industry three times. And the third time I was there, uh, I recall, I would go on these appointments. We, we I, I was doing life insurance in the beginning, and then I moved to, group health insurance, which I liked it a lot more because then I was able to work during the week, during the day. And then by evening time, I was done and I didn't have to see clients on the weekend. So I liked that much better than selling life insurance that you, I was dealing with individuals and I had to see them in the evening time or on a weekend, which I didn't like that. So I remember I was living in Sedona, Arizona. It's a rural area, and you're, you're not going to make a living if you're just fixed on selling group health insurance locally. You have to get out of your area. And for me, it was, I mean, I like to drive, especially in the nature. So... And my partner at the time, he didn't like driving. He enjoyed staying in the office and doing administrative work. And I hated doing administrative work. I wanted to be on the field. So what happened was some of these appointments that we had were from one hour to four hour drive. And for me, it was pure meditation. And sometimes, I mean, four hours is very far. I think it has to be a worthy appointment to go that far. But, and possibly multiple appointments in the same area rather than just going to see one client. But it was very common I would drive for two hours to get to somewhere, one and a half hour, two hours. But for me, it was like pure meditation. It was never an effort because I would just drive my car. A lot of times I wouldn't even make phone calls unless I had to. And, and quite often I wasn't even listening to music. And I would go into this deep, silent place. And I'm driving in uh, Arizona, which is beautiful. And it's just breathtaking, that part of Arizona. Uh, around Sedona and the vicinity and the landscape is breathtaking and I'm just completely immersed into the land the scenery driving driving the car and I'm in this really deep silent place and I wouldn't know how like three hours went by sometimes I just I would arrive at the place and three hours had gone by then I go to my appointment and I never th thought that I'm going there to sell something. It was like, God wants me to be here. I'm serving God and I'm going to provide service. And I will go to this appointment from this place of two hours, three hours of being still and silent. Now imagine you enter into this appointment with that presence and it, it would work very well for me people would just immediately because you're in total stillness within yourself even though you had been driving for three hours or two hours and you're sweaty you're tired or whatever you know you have to go shake it off but you enter to this appointment from that space of stillness and presence it would immediately put my client at ease and they would immediately fall back into this place of being very comfortable and feeling very safe. So what I'm referring to, uh, Kim, is 
something that to the common spiritual seekers may not be holy, but everything is holy. God is in everything. Consciousness is everywhere. And it doesn't matter what you do for a living. As long as your heart is into it and, and you're serving your heart, you feel like that's right, whatever, whatever you're doing in your life, it's, it's fine. We have this idea, like I had this idea, like, okay, I've gone through this phase too. Like, in the past, before I, I did the, the third time uh, selling insurance in Sedona, prior to that, I used to think like, uh, because I'm not a healer or I'm not a teacher or I'm not doing anything in, the, in this industry, then that's not holy. But then I realized that it's all holy. What, what I, I think what what, hap what has been happening to me for the last five years as I walk this pure spiritual path is that um, I myself trying to detach from fear, worries, concern, and the what if of the future. You know, trying to live in the present moment, and here I am making a living out of offering that. What if you die too soon? Live in your too long and too right. long Yeah, well the what if? What if what if they die early? Then what happens to the kids? I mean people die early. It, it's a na it, it is a na you're bringing their awareness to a possibility of life by ensuring themselves and ensuring their family to protect their assets. And that's, that's the deal in this dimension you're living in right now. And I'm losing that interest. Well, well that's, that's a different story. It's, you know, maybe your time's coming to an end and, and existence has other plans for you. So then it will present itself. But what you do, or let's say you're a truck driver, let's say you're a janitor in a university. There is no, it's not unholy, or what I do as a spiritual teacher is more holy than a janitor does. It's the same. None of it is better than the other. It's all serving God. Because God is in everything and everywhere. Once we begin to see it, that it's all that. It's one appears as many. One is doing what it's doing in these different forms. And this is the expression of it. Then that judgment goes away. The mind creates that judgment. Now, if it's not in your path to sell, to, to, to be in insurance industry and to be a healer or shaman or spiritual teacher or go open up a spiritual bookstore or center or whatever that your heart desires, a restaurant, that will happen. It will happen on its own accord. If it's a part of your destiny, it will reveal itself. It will, it will go in that direction. But none of it is more holy than the other one. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Thank Just you. trust, trust your, your, trust your intuition, trust life, that that which, just know that by just being here, by coming on this path, that you have a commitment to the truth, you have a commitment to, to love, and love will guide you home. <laughs>